Hi and welcome to Copenhagen, Denmark. As the biggest telecoms provider in the country, TDC has more than 140 years of experience and continuously provides the best customer experience in terms of high speed, quality and coverage. But to meet the rising demands for high speed broadband and to tackle fierce competition, TDC wanted to upgrade its network to use the latest technology and provide an even better service for its customers. TDC initiated this Gigaspeed project to support our ambition to be the leading infrastructure provider in Denmark. We have a footprint of uh, 1.5 million households, uh, which is more than 50% of the population. We found that we, in a very cost-efficient way, can upgrade our coax network to cope with speed that is superior to uh, consumer private uh, fiber uh, speeds, actually. For TDC, upgrading from the legacy network to DOCSIS 3.1 is a must for providing gigabit internet access. And if TDC succeeds, it will be the first commercial DOCSIS 3.1 network in Europe. The challenges that we're facing is actually quite uh, huge. There's always a risk when it comes to new technology, but we are very confident that, uh, that Huawei has the right technology here. In the beginning of the project, TDC didn't know much about Huawei cable solution and our capability in this area. Actually, at that time, Huawei DCAP solution has already been massively commercial deployed in mainland China, Brazil and France. We are also proposed uh, industry first DOCSI 3.1 prototype. While we established our test demo environment based on TDC network in our headquarters as well. Since TDC project is the first in the industry and there is no precedent case, TDC has made a very strict and also comprehensive process for testing and verification. Fortunately, we have passed through all the test cases and we have initiated the Europe's first DOCS 3.1 commercial trial together with TDC. After finishing all the testing, TDC finally chose Huawei to build its DOCS 3.1 network. But why did they choose Huawei? TDC chose Huawei as our partner uh, on DOCSIS 3.1 for a couple of reasons. We did a thorough investigation of the capabilities in the vendor uh, landscape. We found that Huawei's solution with the CCAP solution was superior when it came to the technology. So we have uh, complete confidence that Huawei will be able to handle a complex project like this. Besides the end-to-end -end DOCSIS 3.1 solutions, we have accumulated successful uh, project management experiences globally. So we are going to successfully deliver this project in Denmark. Let's look at the unsigned delivery. In the pub, the CMTS system takes up a lot of space and requires a lot of power because it's not only the CMTS equipment that needs to be deployed, but also the EdgeQuam converter, optical transmitter, receiver and much more. But Huawei's DC cap solution only deploys a 6-unit OLT in the pub and covers 30 to 50,000 subscribers using 10 g pon technology, which can save space up to 80% and energy up to 60% for the pub. The DOCSIS 3.1 CMC will replace the fiber node and the CMC's capacity can be upgraded to 10 gigabits with full spectrum. So there is no need for further hardware installation and replacements. The amplifiers have an integrated DOCSIS transponder to enable remote management of the amplifiers. They also support intelligent automatic level and slope control so the parameters can be set in advance. Huawei has now deployed four DOCSIS 3.1 capable CMCs for the field trial in CDC network. All of the four CMCs have been prepared and pre-configured in the centralized management systems in order for the installation of the CMCs to be plug and play. Some of the advantages with the new amplifiers is the built-in automatic line calibration and the DOCSIS transponder, which makes it possible for the element manager system U2000 to do remote management on the amplifiers. My family and I, we really enjoy this upgrade and the one gigabit internet connection. It's, it's really fast. The boys, they use their tablets, streaming TV, playing games and all that. And we can watch TV at the same time. It's all new for us. In the future, the 4K TV and the instant cloud access 
for all our pictures and files. It's going to be great. Our roadmap for deploying Doxys 3.1 is basically fourfold. We are just on the brink of launching our field trial project. Next thing would be to implement a pilot network, aiming for a 15% coverage at the end of 2016 and doing the remaining part of the network transformation in 2017. It's a highly ambitious plan, but we think it's doable. The successful deployment of the first European 3.1 network is important for TDC's aim of becoming a leading provider of integrated communications and entertainment solutions in Scandinavia. TDC is a successful case and is just one of many. See you at the next one.